Hello, everyone. We are broadcasting live from the big sleazy inside the Terror Dome, where the fans have been drinking since Friday, <laughs> decked out in purple, green, and gold, screaming for some violent action. Yeah, kind of like you last night on Bourbon Street, huh, Grim? Yeah, last night never happened. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Malice Hellboys take on the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're gonna love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFO Game Day is on the air. Ah, uh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm gonna go get some of extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down in a lot. And he made a mistake there, throwing into tight coverage. Oh, he just got crushed! Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Chance he can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down and two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. It's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, he'd Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> First and ten. It that guy so fast he could strike. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. That pass was good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown!
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the light. And he breaks away. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Shave a few days off his life. Third down and six. He had it for a second there. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually should discuss this on here. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Third down and, well, good luck. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right, you should. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First and ten. Pick 
up of about and the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick man that's gotta hurt don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up second down and seven Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. Running like a McConnell, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. He's at the 40. And he picks up maybe four on that play. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. good for three yards third down and the punter is warming up and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Not unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. 
Much bear. Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender just knock a ball loose. No, that'll wake you up. Then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crunch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and long. First down to five. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. Yeah, I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feed grip. He's running from his team. It's too clear. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. I will have a scale I will hell and all sell And we're at the two minute warning. Second down and more than the QB would like. He picks up a two. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third down and, well, good luck. Holds him to a four-yard pickup there. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Nice punt. Should move them back nice. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. You can't keep a good mutant down. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And that'll be second down and four. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of... This guy's a brick shithouse. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. They might get...
consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. He was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Look at him go! If the Flash in the Roadrunner had a baby, and it was the fastest thing ever, this guy'd be faster! Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, man, what a throw! Oh, he took like a thousand volts of shock there! They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ward and the Axe Murmur! Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four and a so, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. Second down and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. Some fine footwork right there. Oh, oh, oh man. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing. And it's 
First and ten. It's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down and two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, nice hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? He oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too.
Third down and six. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cute. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. Third down, the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return. Oh, with a brutal hit. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown you know if you go frame by frame you can see the cover of my son's death metal album yeah baby fill up the hearts And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Scott, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five.
What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. First and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through and... Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up, and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Only two minutes left in the game. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> and they stomp the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me! Oh, what a punch!
punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe set. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First down and one. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know, Grim? Truer words never spoken, my friend. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And he's off to the races. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense could do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in a hurry. And that's another turnover for the defense. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. The New Orleans zombies had their guts and ate them too. And went at home. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered. But in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because you know, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all your mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about?
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.